The Pocketbook ThinkPad 3 features a 7.8 inch Ian Carter display with a resolution of 1872 by 1404 with 300 ppi. Very solid. It has a front lit display and it also has a warm light color system with 19 LEDs, 10 white and 9 orange. It's the first Pocketbook e-reader to have a dual core processor, one gigahertz. It also has one gig of RAM, eight gigs of internal storage, and a micro SD capable of an additional 32 gigs of storage. It does not have a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack, but it has a, um, a USB to 3.5 adapter. The beauty about this is that it's 7.8 inch screen allows it to be really spread out which gives it a very thin design nothing's on the sides or the top everything happens down below you don't have a 3.5 millimeter port built in you have to use the adapter for that but you do have a micro sd card a power button and a micro usb the back is a nice kind of hard rubber and it is not a flush screen and bezel but you do have some physical buttons on the bottom you have the send a pocketbook, uh, which is sort of their equivalent of like the, you know, uh, send a pocket, you know, the read it now type of stuff. Uh, Dropbox, where you can access your uh, library uh, in there. It has some games, RSS news, photo gallery, and the audio player for, for music and audio books. This is the main UI of the Inkpad 3. It's very much akin to most of their modern e-readers, including the Pocketbook uh, Aqua 2 and the Touch HD 2. Uh, you have the books that are recently, you know, you've added books that you are in the process of like reading. Quick links to the library, the store, store is bugged, it just opens up to the web browser just to Google. It has read rate, which is basically like a Russian based equivalent to like Goodreads. Um, it's really not in English, although it does have some English. It's not really relevant to a North American audience, which yeah. is primarily who is watching Unless you speak this Russian video. Here. Yeah, uh, there's an LED light on the bottom of here that traditionally glows blue on the bottom of the unit. You can actually turn that off. Uh, you can do a lot of customization features in terms of personalizing your device for everything from the boot logo to the power off logo uh, full page refreshes you can do never every 10 pages this is a standard preloaded book you can turn the pages by swiping the sides tapping the sides or using the physical page turn buttons down below if you tap the center you get the bar that comes up here you can change it to landscape and portrait make some notes on screen even turn on the voice, which is TTS, text-to-speech. You will need the adapter at the bottom of the device to utilize that, of course. If you click on settings, you get some margins, some line spacing, hy hyphenations, italic bolds, a lot of fonts because this is a very kind of international open garden e-reader, so you do get a lot of font choices. We'll just tap out of that. You do have... Um, notes and annotations and look up on Google but we want to focus on the dictionaries because this kind of changes things a little bit you can click on this little stack and this allows you to change from different languages like Dutch to English English to Chinese French Hungarian lots of different choices here so as Michael said early on there are 10 white LEDs at the bottom which will produce a very cold looking screen like so if you drag the top down and you see we're highlighted on the front light the smart light is toggled to on and now we can utilize the orange lights which emits a much warmer look you can see how orange it is on screen now this is an extreme case we don't really recommend you turning it all the way to yeah the we have the light. front light and orange light yeah, jack to that, the max that's that's like a little extreme if you go in the middle like around here you get this beautiful ever so slightly easy on the eyes reading this is a little bit shorter review than you're probably used to if you watch a lot of our goodie reader videos if you'd like us to do an extended look at this where we take a look at notes and keyboards and highlights right. and uh, different font options and uh, everything else, you know, like a 15 or 20 minute video, uh, let us know. For goodiebeater.com and a review of the Pocketbook Inkpad 3, my name is Michael. This is Peter. Everybody take care.